Hey, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're going to talk about the difference between follow and no follow links when it comes to SEO. Now, if you're just getting started with SEO, sometimes it's a little bit confusing as to what's the difference between a follow, no follow links, what kind of links I should be going for, things like that. So hopefully this video will clarify a few of those things for you. So before we get into follow and no follow links, when we're talking about links, we're talking about external links. So we're talking about when one website adds a link to their website and when somebody clicks on it, it redirects them to another website. So that's an external link. So website A is placing a link that is directing people to website B. So if that's a follow link, that link is passing a little bit of an SEO boost from that website to the other website. When it's a no follow link, then that link is not passing any sort of benefit as far as SEO goes to one website to the other website. Now, when it comes to follow links, inbound links can boost your SEO. So the more links that you're getting, the better, because each one of those links can boost, give you a little bit of a boost as far as SEO goes. So think of it as a link as when one website gives a link to your website, they're passing a little bit of a trust and a little bit of authority and recommendation from their website to your website. So when Google sees that, it's a little bit of a trust signal and it's a little bit of a boost for your SEO. So the more links you get, traditionally, the more of the boost you're going to get for your SEO. It'll increase rankings for specific pages. So if you're getting links for, you know, for your website, overall, it will help your website, but when you're getting links to specific pages on your website, it will also help with the rankings and the SEO authority for those individual pages as well. Stronger websites equal stronger boosts. So not all links are equal. So if you're getting a link from a brand new website or some random website that doesn't, you know, isn't popular or has nothing to do with your industry, things like that, that, that link is not going to pass the same authority as say, maybe your, you know, industry uh, union or something like that website is linking to your website or uh, local media or New York times or something like that. Basically the stronger the website, the stronger the boost in SEO that link is going to give you. Now, when it comes to no follow links, Basically, a nofollow link is a link, except it has a little tag on it. And that tag is what we call a rel equals nofollow. So when Google sees that link, they'll read that nofollow tag. And that's basically telling Google that I am linking to another website, but I do not want you to pass any sort of authority through this link from our website to that website. And it's not to be taken as a recommendation for this website. So. When it comes to nofollow links, you'll see them on social media. Pretty much all social media links are nofollow. Uh, forums, uh, groups, online, things like that. Any place basically where you can add that link yourself is almost always going to be a nofollow link to avoid spam. Because if they're all follow links, then people will just start stuffing links everywhere. So almost all of these places where you have the ability to add your own links is going to be a nofollow link. Now, they do not directly help with SEO. These links do not pass any sort of authority from one website to another. But small caveat, when it comes to local SEO, they can still help a little bit. It kind of depends. So with local SEO, we talk about citations. And a citation is simply a mention of your business or brand online, regardless if it's a link or it's just text on a page. So. Even if a link is no follow, if it has descriptive anchor text, so instead of just saying yourwebsite.com or click here, it says Joe's Pizza or you know the best pizza in Charlotte or something like that, even though that's a no follow link, technically it can count as a citation and will give you a little bit of a benefit for SEO, at least for local SEO. And it also provides secondary benefits. So while it's not a direct SEO benefit, that link, Having links in general, even if they're no follow, will have secondary benefits. So number one, it will drive more traffic to your website, get more readers, get more visitors to your website, to those pages, and it can lead to more social shares, more mentions of your business online, like we're talking about getting more citations, mentions for your business. And eventually what I found is the more traffic you can get, the more shares you can get, the more likely people are gonna link back 
to that page just for the sheer exposure that you're getting. So it does have secondary benefits when it comes to getting no follow links. So in short, follow links provide a direct benefit for SEO. No follow links do not provide a direct benefit for SEO, but they can provide some secondary types of benefits in the form of more traffic, social shares, and eventually more links just due to getting more exposure uh, to different people. But when it comes to SEO, focus on both. Both are important. You do not want to just focus on follow links and, and, not, and exclude no follow links because when Google looks at your link profile, if they only see follow links, it's probably going to be a red flag for them that something's wrong because almost no website that's naturally getting links back to the website are going to have strictly all follow or strictly no follow links going to their website. They're going to have a mix of both of them on there. So if you're trying to rank a specific page on your website and you're proactively trying to get links, then of course you want to try to get follow links because they're providing a direct boost. But overall, when you're trying to get links for your website, don't focus too much on just getting follow links because like I said, no follow links do have secondary benefits and it'll, it'll make your link profile overall more natural uh, when Google sees it uh, when they're crawling your website. So hopefully that explained the difference between follow and no follow links. Both are important, but there are some key differences between the two. If you want to learn more about local marketing, SEO, things like that, you can go to 3bugmedia.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.